today I'm addressing the difference between wildlife biology and wildlife conservation. This stemmed from a question that I got on YouTube a while back. So I'm going to read the whole YouTube question and comment, and then I'm going to talk about the differences between these fields briefly. Okay, so somebody asked, why is it called wildlife conservation? I've heard it interchangeably. Does this job stop corporations from building on animals' land like where deer and foxes naturally live in Texas? I'm looking for a career that does that, not just researching animals, just letting them have their habitat. Hence why I thought it's called conservation, conserving their land. I heard it interchangeably from this online school that showed up on my Facebook feed called Unity University. It said, start your career in wildlife conservation, but then goes on about becoming a wildlife biologist. I just want animals to have more space. The deer, not just trapped in very small areas with trees, but streets and stores everywhere, but they're where they can go without getting hit by a car. And everybody buys land where animals are more than likely living. Okay, so they just keep going on about talking about the human wildlife or the development in, in wild areas. I would I wish there was a job where I could stop this. I think a video on this would be helpful to a lot, especially with school ads apparently confusing people. Okay, so I totally understand this confusion. And so this is this is my interpretation being on this field. I've been in this field now for 20 years. I can't believe it. I'm not going to read solid definitions, but I'm going to talk about my interpretation and other people might interpret it a slightly different way. These two are very overlapping. There's often a lot of gray area. So wildlife biology, like I talk in my videos, when you mentioned not just researching animals, biology is definitely researching animals. It's studying. And when we talk about studying, a lot of people get the perception that you're like reading about animals. Like if you're an, un an undergrad or if you're in university, the, the way that you study for a topic is you take a class and you learn about it and you get graded on your test results or your paper results. That's not what we talk about with studying. With studying in a, a professional sense, in a scientist sense, it's about developing your own questions and then developing research a study design to answer those questions. And this is what I teach in depth in the, my program, The Successful Wildlife Professional. If you're interested in more information about this program, I have a free series coming up called Becoming a Wildlife Professional. And at the end, I will introduce you to another webinar where we can talk more about SWP. Wildlife biology, anything with an ology is the study of. So wildlife biology is the study of wildlife. It is based in science, which is that formal study. In science, in the olden days, when it came to wildlife, you could just like describe them. You could talk about their behavior, and that would be a study, but not anymore. It is so much more quantitative. There is so much more involved. Conservation has to do with this aspect of obviously wanting to conserve the species. And conservation as a whole is a really broad term. When it comes to wildlife, what it often means is that we want to protect species from them declining, but it more often refers to reversing trends out there. When we talk about wildlife conservation, often people are talking about working on animals, working on wildlife populations that are threatened, declining, or even endangered or critically endangered and reversing those patterns. So getting the populations to increase. Those are the big differences. And like I said, for wildlife biology, you can study wildlife and you can study species that are doing just fine. Like you can study the deer and the foxes that you're talking about. Those animals are not endangered. They're not in decline. They're super abundant. But you can be a wildlife biologist studying deer or like raccoons. Raccoons are doing fine. There's no need to conserve them. When I studied raccoons, I was actually studying disgust. Now that really isn't as much wildlife biology. That would be more like zoology. And in the Successful Wildlife Program, we break these down into detail and I give you examples of these different areas because again, there's lots of overlap between zoology and wildlife biology, but there are also distinct differences too. So you can be a wildlife biologist studying super common animals that don't need any conservation protection. And in fact, 
a lot of wildlife biologists, especially that work for state agencies, state agencies here in the United States are the government agencies that manage wildlife. And initially, wildlife management came about because populations, the common species like I'm talking about, were so low that people needed to bring them back. And they wanted to bring them back because they wanted to hunt them. So now wildlife management and wildlife biology, a lot of it revolves around these game species. And a lot of jobs can simply be focused on managing the numbers so that so that hunters can hunt them. Going back to your original question about stopping corporations from building on land that animals live on. So with wildlife conservation, there are many jobs and there are many science jobs. So there are wildlife conservation jobs that study the species itself to understand how to conserve it. You can study conservation topics like understanding concept in conservation, for example, like the island effect of, of protected areas, the effect of edges, things like that. But those are are still sciences. But there are lots of jobs in conservation that don't have to do with science directly. And the, what you're talking about would be more of an advocate type of job. And that would be working for a nonprofit. And it would also be more legislative. If you look at like Defenders of Wildlife, they're a very advocacy-based organization. So they do have science jobs. But if you go to their website and look at their jobs, so many of their jobs are going to be honestly legal. They want like people who are doing like policy type of work. So that means like meeting with government officials. Also a lot of like, communications type of jobs, like getting the information out there to get people to act whether that's petition, whether that's fundraising, things like that. And there's also a lot of legal positions too. Like they actually hire a lot of lawyers. So you would want to work for a wildlife conservation organization, but you don't necessarily want to do research. And it sounds like from your comment, you don't want to do research. That becoming a wildlife biologist, it doesn't sound like it is the path for you. The main difference is that the word conservation opens up a huge number of jobs. And you can also, of course, work on conservation outside of wildlife. You could work at a major corporation working on sustainable practices. And although you're not directly related to wildlife, if you're working at a major corporation, working on making them carbon neutral, that's going to have huge impacts on wildlife. And sometimes that could even have even greater effects than if you are working on saving red wolves or something, because that affects all wildlife. So there are lots of options in this career and great question. So keep these questions coming.